So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how Keith Gill, Rowan Kitty, tricked us. What I mean by this? Well, first of all, I was, I did say yesterday, and I warned yesterday that I think that GameStop is gonna go lower. I think we're gonna see twenty dollars on the stock, and uh, today is down at a eighty-four cents. So what I mean by this? This, this picture right here. This was so misleading. This was like making me think and probably a ton of other people think that Ryan Kitty was going to join the join GameStop or the board of directors or something like that but nothing happened maybe he tried maybe he went to the board of he, he tried to email GameStop and ask them to if he can join the board of directors and they came back and said no or they didn't even reply to him because GameStop is under microscope right now because of the, uh, maybe be from the SEC. No, maybe at the end of the day, uh, and now Ryan, now Ryan Kitty doesn't have the money to buy a ton of car options unless he goes and he sells his GameStop stock, raise that money to buy a ton of car options. Unless that happens, I don't think he's going to be able to buy a ton of car options. Personally, I don't understand him. Why does he even care about GameStop? Why does he try to find another company to make money on instead of just focusing on GameStop? Like, I, I, I seriously don't get it. But it is what it is. And that's the reality of it. Um, anyways... That's all I really have to say in this video. Could totally be wrong here. Some news could come out. Maybe Roaring Kitty will be in that live stream and stock could pump again. Who knows? But unless something big happens, I don't see the stock going up again. I, th I think it's going to gradually grind its way down. My opinion only, not financial advice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.